Good morning, people. Welcome back to another episode of Deanie Talks with the big man, Mark Williams, a.k.a. Disc. And today we have, I'm not going to call him a legend because he's too young to be a legend. <laughs> we have the Love Island singer-songwriter, a.k.a. Mr. I gave all my chains away, but they're still here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so where's Nelson? <laughs> How's everyone doing? <laughs> Straight in, dragging good? him up. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're giving me anxiety now. I, was, I tried to come out here shining. I thought I knew you was going to be so. <laughs> no, I whipped him out. These are the just the ones that I kept on ice, you know. No, I like it. I like it. And we do have to say we really appreciate you coming out. We know you've been working hard and a couple of hours sleep. So appreciate you coming out. Thank you and, for uh, having me, thank man. Thank you for coming in. Um, let's, let's just dive straight into it. How is the music going? My music's music's going well, man. Yeah. Um. Obviously, I've been doing this for like nearly three years, so um, I feel like I'm settled in now. Mm-hmm. I think my main goal was just to first of all just put out good music mm-hmm. that I enjoy, um, and then sort of as a side goal just to get that sort of respect from the music industry first of all, and then from the from the public and just be seen as sort of that as an artist and, and for what I actually want to be seen as, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's nothing you can do to sort of, you can't shout from the rooftops and say, look, I'm an artist now, but yeah, yeah, people yeah. don't buy that. You just got to be consistent with the music. Mm-hmm. Actually get some numbers and then. Yeah. Well, you, got, been, you got some we, numbers, are The yeah. numbers, the numbers are, are numbering. <laughs> <laughs> we're the billions now, no, right? We're in the billions, uh, yeah, billions over, uh, over the, over the past two and a half years, which is, oh. which is good. Um, Keeps the label and everything off my back. So. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, everything's good, man. No. Um, I'm just excited to be to be living my dream. It sounds corny, nah, but just it's what but living is. what I actually really wanted to do in life. Yeah. Well, that, that was going to be a, like a question because obviously you've gone. Most people know you from Love Island, right? Before mm. the music, was that always a plan? Like I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the Love Island thing, get some fame and so because a lot of people do Love Island and that's it, and it like they, yeah. they get their little boohoo deal that they're, they're done. What, what, do you know what I mean? It is, isn't it? They get, <laughs> they get their boohoo deal. Facts. I reckon it's part of the contract. Yeah, they get, <laughs> they get their boohoo deal. They do the little promos around, I don't know what they call like the little clubs and that. Mm. The, the PAs, yeah. Yeah, and then they're done after six months yeah. and then the next one comes. But it's, like, it's a, it's, yeah, it's, it's not an easy, like, it's a short lived shelf life, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Especially now they're doing one every six months. Like, yeah, but that's what I was saying. Like, because the only two that I know that really kicked on free, actually, yourself. Josh, who we were just talking about, Denzel for people that don't know, the big guy. Big guy. And then Ovi. Obviously, you already had the basketball anyway. So. Molly as well. Molly's Matt Ash. Ashley Kane. Didn't he start off? Yeah, no, he did just X on the Beach. X on the Beach. Molly, yeah. 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 I'll, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. One. I only watch your one. I don't watch <laughs> these programs because obviously <laughs> I met Josh the week before he went in. He was doing oh, no something with Adidas at yeah, Watford. Yeah. So I had to like just take them for yeah. like a shooting session kind of thing. Uh-huh. And um, yeah, he was like, I'm going on Love Island. Was like, <laughs> you know, you're like, yeah, all right, man, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and um, yeah, so and then that's, that's the only reason I kept an eye on it. I don't really watch those those kind of programs. I think they're a bit funky, but. Mate, I, I've never watched it myself. No? That's not even a joke. And I'm not even trying to be cool. Yeah. I no, never, no, no. Um, I, watched, um, I watched like half of the one that was before me, which was Kems. Yeah. And then, so I had a bit of an idea of what was going on. But then ever since then, I've not really, not really ask, is it fake? No, like I'm I'm a shit actor. No, I'm on about it. <laughs> like the stage, like yeah, you know, oh, like, like, okay, you kind so of like, to go somewhere. Actually, and... So like it, it isn't, and I think a lot of people think it is because you can get some like really sort of it looks scripted drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have 24 hours in a day of mm. of just being in a house, and you only do a couple couple things a day, and the rest of it you just you're literally trying to make drama. Oh, it's almost okay, like yeah, it's yeah. like it's like human engineering, isn't it? You put yeah, a load yeah, of people yeah. into a, into a villa, and you know their types. You know their mm-hmm. types. You can almost predict what mm-hmm. you can almost sort of script what's going to happen based on their behaviour. So, for example, okay. they asked us a million and one questions to even get in there. Yeah. So they know your type. They know what you're like. You know what you're about. This, mm-hmm. that, and the other. So they know if they put this person in, or they know if they put that yeah, type of person in, what's going to piss you off and what yeah, you're going to yeah, like. Yeah, so yeah. That's that's the way they get around it. That sense. How was that though? Because I could imagine, yeah, like me, my personality, being tired, being aggravated, and then you've just got someone I don't want to spend time with being in there. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? You, like you that can't, you drama's can't. coming. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You're, you're, I know you're the you, same. Do you, what, do you mean you're part the person that you'd be with if you was nah, if, if, like? Do you know, like, you know, like I look at it when I'm like I'd enjoy it. I would do like this. Uh, I'm a celebrity. 
Yeah. You know, like go to the jungle. I'm tired, I'm hungry. Don't put me around people like I don't want to be around. I like to stay at home in it. I like my own little circle. I don't want to be around people that are no, I hear squealing it. and that. But you know what is quite cool, which I always thought when, when I was in there, is that sometimes, especially on the outside, like you say, you can separate yourself from drama. Yeah, yeah. You can separate yourself from like some little um, like arguments you might have had yeah, with someone. Yeah. You, you have an argument, you can just leave and you don't have to talk to them ever again. Or yeah, you don't have to talk to them for a few days. There, you have to address it. Yeah. And I thought that was actually quite good. I've taken that for, that's one thing I've actually probably taken from the show. So I was just like, like airing out your problems. Air it out it. straight away, get it done. Oh, okay. Because you have to be around each other. Yeah, there's no point all the time. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And it, you can't actually not get it sorted. Do you find, um, you know, like, <laughs> it created a bitchy environment or it created more of what you said, like just have it out and then we move on to the next Yeah, thing. like ours was actually quite fun though. I think. Yeah. No one really like, gave, yeah, it, yeah. gave that much of it. Because <laughs> it wasn't a career thing then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't think until that we came out, you, then you were we season realized, four, right? Season three, season four? Season four. Four, four, four. yeah, season four, so yeah. Like, I, don't, I don't think it was a career thing then. So I was 19 mm -hmm. when I got asked, I just went in to have a laugh, like. That's what, that's the baddest funny. thing for me. Yeah. I didn't realise how young you, you still are. 24, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm 10 years old than you. So right. I Yeah, I'm 34, oh, bro. I know I look it as well, it's No, fine. you don't even, nah, you... Like, I look it as well. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at myself yesterday, I was like, I'm sure my hairline's getting fired. Oh, it goes, it goes. It's, it's, like, it's doing the fucking moonwalk. <laughs> let's, let's, <laughs> point. Let's, go, let's not talk about hairlines. <laughs> 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 you Mate, two it's having me up here <laughs> I was like, at least my beard's starting to come. Like, yeah, I've yeah. got to have some sort of upside down hairline by the time I'm like but the, 30. But people are even bringing the boards coming. It's becoming a no, thing, it's a thing in it. No, you just no got to be a bit is, big. It's just cheap. Yeah. You just got to be a bit bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you look a bit that's, like, what, that's all it is, it's cheap. Yeah. It's boring. I like it. It's Every two days, trim it. Do you bick it? Long. I used to, but then it gets long. Did you ever have yeah. one of them? There was a phase where yeah, people Yeah, them, were... them circle things. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's what I've got. Yeah, oh, it's good, you know. It's probably the best thing. It's probably the best thing that I've got. But it's easy, man. Do you know what I do Wait, now? Do I just sit on and do it. I'll do it. For, I'll do it. No, 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 no. I, I don't, I'm scared it won't come back. You know, like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Sometimes <laughs> I think, like, if I just took it off and started again, and I'm like, no, 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 what no, if no, it no. don't? No, my brother did that, and I yeah? was—I saw him do it, and I was like, Yo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, "You're older than me, bro. <laughs> That's not coming back." Dangerous. Did though? Yeah. Talk, did, talk though. about your brother, because obviously I played against your brother many times. Not, yeah. I feel like not he many said he people, had you in pocket, but it's never happened. It's never happened. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He knows. <laughs> that was a, it's a huge nibble as well, by the yeah. way. Um, <laughs> hey, um, did you? Was football ever a thing for you? Was your athletically, yeah. you was always been... Because yeah, I imagine so, as a family... Yeah, it's a, it's a very athletic family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, my, yeah, my cousins are Olympians. My brother's a footballer. My old man, he's a kickboxer. My other uncle is a six-time world champion kickboxer. Like, everyone's wow. just... Yeah, yeah, got mm -hmm. some sort of pedigree in sport, which is which is really dope, and it's it's actually created such a great competitive environment to grow mm -hmm. up in, but a healthy competitive environment. I, I think, talk and I think that it, it was really important and and sort of influential for me growing up, seeing mm -hmm. everyone around me sort of striving to for greatness. I think, yeah, but then. Yeah, I was, uh, mate, I, I was all right. I wasn't a professional, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I played semi-pro until I was like 17, 18. And then I went in just and quit that and just did straight Muay Thai and fighting. So oh, I've done that it? since I was three. Oh. Um, so it's always was that football something your dad wanted fighting. to get you involved to show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, or, or football and fighting. Mm -hmm. And the, I think even that was, was great. Like I got my black belt by the time I was like 12, 11, I think. So you say so you're actually mash man up. That's what you Come said. Come on, I will smack you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you keep your chain. Isn't it? Hey, man, Wait, one more, no. you're, you're one more chain. <laughs> chain coming away from a flying back. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I'm not that flexible anymore. I can't kick you in the haste. <laughs> no, I've lost no, that. No, but you know why? You know why I say that? Because me and the, and the missus were talking the other day. I think. I think it's important like for, for people now to, to see more visuals of success. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Everyone always sees the end goal, don't they? Yeah. Do you go know and say that? Yeah, and this is and that's another thing, especially with my brother, and you'll mm -hmm. know yourself as yeah. a as a baller, how much sacrifice comes into football. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think and when people say like well, who's your biggest hero, I think it is my brother, you know. Yeah. Biggest inspiration that's because tough. like he's he's been in the academy system since he was like seven. Yeah. Seven, seven or eight years old. And and then I've watched him go down to Plymouth at the age of 15, yes. 16, no family, eating Christmas dinner, having a having a Domino's pizza for Christmas dinner. Mm -hmm. Like, do you know what I mean? Just no family own. around. Yeah, yeah. Doing digs with 
some random family that you didn't particularly like at the time. Mm -hmm. So if I'm just joke pewing it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably lost a job. Well, like he's 50, he's like, he's 15 years yeah, old at yeah. the time and he didn't like the family. He's just there like Harry Potter and a freaking. Yeah, just get it. Gaff, don't it. Do yeah. you know what I mean? And then there's no guarantee after that that you start getting pro football. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's not, there's no guarantees in think, it. And I I've, think um, having not having that sort of watching the faith and I think that everyone in the, in the family sort of thing, there's no guarantees that there was going to be, yeah, 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 yeah. that was going to make it, but then they've always put the work in and, well, that's and the taken the risk. They'll put the work in, but also not being afraid to fail. I exactly, think yeah. now with the, the social media world, we have it's everyone scared of like, oh, if I do, if I fail, everyone's going to see it. Exactly. But you're supposed to fail to get there. Do you know what's mad? No one gives a fuck about it. Yeah, no. Like what's going on in your yeah, life yeah, as well. Yeah. You know that? Like, it's only your own there's, ego. There's, there's, there's probably like it. three or four people in everyone's life that actually really, really, in that moment, genuinely care. Yeah, genuinely yeah. give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Or is probably thinking about you at that point. Mm -hmm. Which is crazy. Everyone has me syndrome. We're all guilty of it because of everyone's world revolves around them subconsciously. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, no one gives a fuck. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. May as well just, like even with music, I can remember I was sat in Denz's, Denz's room and I was with my old management and they called me and they said, I can't believe you've turned down. Cause at this point I turned down a whole bunch of like TV hosting stuff. Okay. A whole bunch of um, like mad contracts that I was, yeah. I've been working for for ages in TV and like yeah. anyone who'd been doing that and took that route after Love Island would have jumped on it and, mm -hmm. I, and I would have. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, you know what, fuck this. I don't want to do this. This is just lockdown. I want to do music and, I, and that's, what I've always wanted to do. I yeah, don't know yeah. why I'm pissing around <laughs> doing yeah. stuff that, I, don't get me wrong, good money. Yeah, and, yeah. And, the other, and it's cool. It's different than being an engineer and stuff, but I wanted to be a musician. So I turned down all these contracts. Mm -hmm. My manager's like, you have lost the plot. Yeah. Like you have fucking lost it. I can't I like believe. the way he's called you, it the you, old management as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, well, that's why I'm not with him yeah. anymore. <laughs> and he's like, you've lost the plot. Like, I yeah. can't believe you've done you've done this, you're saying no to this, that, and the other, you've been working for this for ages. I was like, listen, I don't want to do it. Trust the process, started um, getting, learning properly how to record, recorded myself with a puffer jacket over my head, had a number Sick. three single the next two weeks. That's so that. did you, you know, like when you started music, did you ever, when you was younger, did you think, oh, I, I had a musical background or anything like that? Or this did you just come? So like Let no one in my off. fucking family can sing. No, no one's musically inclined. My brother hates it. <laughs> like, 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 you know, we you know, were just standing there stiff, are not it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, rigid. No, Kurt, no, stiff. I was just stiff, thinking, yeah, he's, like no, you no, say no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> He just stood there next to the buzzer like stiff. I was like, Oh, yeah, yeah, he, a good time. He, he can't, no, he can't move. Oh, okay. Stuck in the mud. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's struggling. He's struggling, but Sorry, no, no you're one. You're my guy, you know that. You're not my guy. <laughs> stiff guy. You know, you know, you know, um, no, it's, it's, yeah, it's one of them. What was I on about? Music, musically in the family. Music in the family. Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, no one's musically inclined in my family, but I was since I was two or three. My okay. first ever gift that I can remember getting was a, a keyboard. I've got a picture of it. I'll send it to you. Sit. Um, a keyboard um, and this plastic microphone karaoke. Sit. It wasn't even a karaoke. It was just looked like yeah, a karaoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to sing in that for a couple of years. And then I think I got the upgrade. We could afford a, a proper karaoke. So yeah, mom and dad yeah. got a proper karaoke. I think I just pissed everyone off with that as well. Just screaming down that. You always confident though? Always. Then. No, yes. like even like- Then, the yes. Oh, okay. But then I never sang. My mum and dad never heard me sing a full song until my first song came out. That's it. Well, they, they, they did hear me around yeah, the house. Yeah, yeah. But like to actually perform and have the they confidence never, to do it. No, no, never. Why is that though? I had no confidence, bro. Like, I that's think, mad to hear though, bro. Because yeah. you, you again, you the, the wall, the wall that you, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. You yeah. walked in the room tired and that's like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Is that, is that alert behavior or what? It's it's just come from throwing myself in the deep end, I think. Yeah. And I think when you realize you, you're you not made of glass and you yeah, throw yeah, yeah. yourself into anything, no one cares yeah. at the end. And no one really gives, no one gives a fuck. I think <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, that's what I've realized is that it's not that you don't have to give a fuck to mm -hmm. sort of show that you don't give a fuck. Just realize no one else actually yeah. cares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think when I started to realize that no one actually cares, then... Like, then then I, I, things became just so much more easy. Mm -hmm. I think, you know what it was? When having all the cameras and stuff in my face though, post Love Island, post yeah. show, that definitely sort of threw me in the deep end in yeah. terms of like having to talk to a camera, this, that, yeah, and the other, yeah, yeah. and have conversations. Mate, 
It was boring in there. I could talk to a tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, I could, I did talk to a tree. You <laughs> just did show that part. Like, yeah, I mean, it's not great telly, but <laughs> I could, like, yeah, you, you sort of just, I think it's it was learned. And yeah. people say you can't learn confidence. I think you can. Yeah, yeah. You just got to throw, you've got to really throw yourself into it. If you had to do, if it was do or die, you'd do it. So mm -hmm. I think if you actually believe it, that, that was me, you know, I didn't used to be confident. Yeah. yeah it's, it's Man. I had an assurance. It, playing football, yeah. That you know, like in my space, yeah. I'm confident there. But in and around, like if you ask my mum and that, timid, you know, up until like 40, 50. And mm -hmm. they just start similar to that. Add a few things up, and it's like, fuck yeah, it just yeah. like I was always confident as in like talking to people. Like I could sit down yeah, and chat yeah, to yeah. you. But I would you told me to sing in front of you. Mate, I'm from Stoke on Trent. Yeah. No one sings like that. <laughs> Apart and since Robbie, yeah. no one's done this. Like you're a plumber, you're a plaster, yeah, yeah, an engineer. Yeah. And if you sing, yeah. you, but you're weird. But you know what? That's really interesting that you say that though, because I use that in a football context, like from where we're from, and it was either mm. football, doing the other stuff or working at Land Rover, like or in a, yeah. in a factory of some kind. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they were only the ways out. So when you like penetrate and pierce through, I bet you don't even realize how many people you've inspired from Stoke. Which is crazy because like when I see that odd message that comes through like that, yeah. like that makes it feel like it's all worth it. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because mate, I can remember going, I can actually remember like the amount of times I used to go past the music room in school mm -hmm. and I'd see people in there like doing music and this, that and the other, mainly girls. Yeah. Like, I don't think there's really any, like I don't think there was any guys yeah. at all. No. And like walking past and be like, fuck. Like I wish, like I, or I'd just go in and chat to them and pretend yeah. I was just chatting just so I could just be in and around it. But I'd never, ever, ever have the confidence to That's actually mad. go and sing. That's mad, isn't There's it? no it's way. Crazy. When you listen like that, it's, it's mad to hear. But So you, you touched a little bit on it, obviously, the fame and that. So did you, you enjoy Instagram? I know you don't <laughs> at the moment, but- I can hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I have never, ever, ever liked it, ever. And it's always been my Achilles heel. I think yeah. in this whole thing, I would love to know how much, I, genuinely how much more successful I could have been if I would have actually posted shit hmm. yeah. and done stuff. Like even my first contract was with um, Boohoo, Boohoo yeah. Man. That was a, that was a walk That out. was when you they did, it, right? yeah, but they did some whopper deals back then. That was when, <laughs> that's when, that's when no one was doing yeah, it. Me yeah, and Josh yeah. cleaned up that year. <laughs> me, me and Denz, I can remember us getting in the changing room. We just gave each other high five. I was like, I love, love, I love, love. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's so funny. Um, but no, they, that was good and it was lucrative and it was yeah. great. Um, but then I, I can remember like, I I just hate it. I couldn't keep up with the posts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All you had to do is like a post a week, mm -hmm. maybe one or two mm -hmm. a week. I couldn't do it. I just can't, I can't take pictures like that. Mm. Are you more I in just, the moment kind of person? Yeah, I yeah. hate getting my phone out. I ain't recording my food before I eat. I ain't yeah, doing this yeah, like... Yeah. I'm very in the moment and yeah. present. And I feel the more I'm more, I'm more active on this, the more, less active I am in real life. And I'm, yeah, I'm saying That's sort of lost just lost. in real life now, isn't it? Mm. Like that, being that, in the moment. But I just fucking hate the fakeness. And I think being behind the lens and you can see it yeah. as well. I'm, I'm sure in, in, in the industry as well, like mm -hmm. even the ballers and stuff, like so fake. Mm -hmm. The whole thing's mm -hmm. bullshit. Like, I hope everyone knows that. <laughs> like, and I think everyone it's does, talk, but like, I just don't <laughs> think you know to the, the degree of yeah, how yeah, yeah. fake of course it is. these inf like influencer yeah. shit is. Like, yeah, yeah. I can't do it, bro. No, I'm just I feel like I'm lying to everyone. Like if- I'm, I feel like I'm lying to myself. Do you know what I mean? That's and, the biggest part for me. And it's like an identity thing, isn't yeah, it? You, you start to lose your, like you start losing who you are. Yeah. And then, so then after that, anyway, I gave a load of fucking money back to Boohoo. Oh, that's it. And yeah. just canceled it. So that's our principle for yourself. Yeah, I just canceled yeah, yeah. it. And it was a lot. And yeah. my dad was like, <laughs> <laughs> You sure about this? <laughs> <Are you sure? laughs> my manager, see, this is why me and my old manager didn't get yeah. on. I just kept on giving fucking money back. Um, but you know what though? I think in the long run, it will set you apart. I really do. Well, this is, yeah. this is the thing, isn't it? So like, I'm so much more happy now. Mm -hmm. That was uh, genuinely, and I've said it before, that I was getting depressed, like yeah, really yeah. anxious. And I've never had anxiety, never had depression. Mm -hmm. And, and, and I know it sounds a bit silly, like, oh, the Instagram's making you, like mm -hmm. the whole life, like as soon as you step outside, you feel like you're working and- Just becoming closed, yeah, like the yeah, world and, is coming and it's, smaller and smaller. Like, and it's not even what I want to do, so yeah, yeah, why yeah. am I fucking doing it? I don't care if it's 
pays whatever. It's mm -hmm. not worth your happiness, is it? No, definitely not. I've yeah. lived that a few times, I know. Yeah, that's the thing with <laughs> celeb well, celebrities, like yeah. nobody ever gives them any privacy. You always think like so for a celebrity, you you technically always work, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You never, you never come in away the private, from it. Like, just anyone life. in the public eye. Yourself, like, yeah. you can't just do anything. Like, no. no. So just, just in case, there's always that, I'd love to, this is what I'm thinking of just getting a balaclava, you know, bro. Just walk around. <laughs> just, just cause some mayhem. Yeah. <laughs> just, you know, we, we, just, was, just do something real stupid. <laughs> 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 real I, was saying, stupid. I was saying, I can't wait to retire. You know, like, Know, maybe three, four years removed, but everyone's forgotten about it. Like the world's carried on. And then just walk down the shopping center, like mm. walk around and actually look at stores and look at clothes mm. and that. Because now it's, it's a ball eight, bro. Oh, yeah. Go wherever you go, if it's London, it's Birmingham, Manchester, it's like, oh, did you get a picture? Or the best one, we was just in the, um, the NBA store the other day. So I love like retros. So I was in there and the missus going, are you going to go and just say hello to him? I was like, nope. So we carried on walking. These three kids were following us, trying to pick the, the courage to ask yeah, for a yeah, picture. Yeah. But they were grown, they were like 20s. I was like, fuck it, we have some fun with it. We just carried on walking around the shop. <laughs> You're <laughs> a dickhead. <laughs> You're just a on walking. <laughs> I didn't even look at anything. I just carried on walking around. Just bro. taking shot left. <laughs> 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 Why do you like this? I didn't a comment in a few days. That was me. No, I yeah. didn't. Chase Troy Judy. That's what I did. I turned around right at the end. I went, you just got to ask. And he's like, oh, yeah, can I get that picture? So I took the picture. Then I went back and did it all. But I was just like, like you say, sometimes you think, fuck it, it's a Wednesday, I want my day off. Like, in it, but then at the same off. time, like, you can't ever be, you can't, yeah, have, you can't, a, be you can't have a bad day, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So it was just, I was just like, yeah, fuck it, let's have the picture. We had the picture and it started turning around, but I get it, like, the end of the end of the day sometimes, you just want to go. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, and I, I'd, if, if you could drop it all and I could just wear, like, a ballet and just never be famous, or not, I hate saying famous, yeah. it makes me feel nervous. Even yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But, but it's, it's recognised that whatever, yeah. like, I'd press the button right now. As long as yeah. I could do music, I'd be sweet. Mm. So, but it, so I kind of like writing, you know. Yeah, but I was about to say, have you found that that's been a, a way? Because some people, like, I do therapy and I, I, yeah. I sit and talk to people just because it's easy for me. But is the writing become therapeutic for yourself? 100%. Yeah. Like, like it is literally, that is my therapy. Yeah. Um, And I've spoken to therapists and this, that and the other, and it's been good and this, that and the other. But it's write, for writing me. for me is like, yeah. honestly, it's the best thing. Like as soon as I have a thought, I've built a studio in my house, so... I just go straight downstairs and start writing. That's it. Just get everything out on paper. Because I think sometimes when you actually write things down, do you know, you really, Powerful, sort of, you really, really start to take it in. So I did SAS with um, um, Ant Middleton and them. Yeah, yeah. And they they didn't actually show this, but they um, they made us write down. So when, if you go, if you go, uh, if you're a serviceman, you're, you're in the military and mm. before you go, you, some people write letters. Yeah. yeah. If and you it can be away. to, and it, yeah, if you, if you pass mm. and it can be to anyone you've maybe not spoken to, it could be someone you, oh, you've spoken to. It could yeah. be absolutely anyone or someone you might have really wanted to say something, but you never had the courage to say it. Oh, okay. Dope. And yeah. it's actually a mad concept because mm. when you sit down with a piece of A4, and you actually start writing out all these things like you want to say to your, your Marge, you might you want yeah, to say yeah. to your, your dad or your, your brother and tell them that they're this and then tell them that. that. And you're just like, shit, there's so many different things that I yeah, haven't said. Yeah, and yeah. I think I do that sort of through music now. And I was mm. bawling with tears when I did that in S SAS, but they never showed it. Showed it do you know what I thought he was going to say then? They give me this A4 piece of paper and I just wrote a song. <laughs> <laughs> Sound made a paper airplane and threw it back. <laughs> <laughs> just Fuck you. Yeah. I honestly thought you were going to say, I made a song. God, that was my first song. <laughs> And then I sang it to Ant Middleton. <laughs> <laughs> Foot down. <laughs> so when, you know when you, uh, so you, obviously you jumped to SAS deck. I, did, I read somewhere you said you nearly died a few times on there. What, what yeah, that? yeah, what, yeah. Talk, that talk that, that show that. should not be on telly, bro. <laughs> 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 that show is normal. Like, I thought it was, bro, if you ever get a chance to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's, it's, it's on the bucket list. Please. I, I think you do, you know. You do, do it. It's the bucket do list. Do it. Yeah. And I feel like you've got the good mentality for it because it mm. is, it's a lot of physical, mm -hmm. but I'm, I, so I don't gym. I don't, I haven't been to the yeah. gym in five or six years, like since before Love Island. That I wanted to, so I look like, <laughs> <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I've, I haven't been, and I don't, I don't keep fit yeah. and I should. You don't need um, nothing at all. Not even like walk a lot or not, no, no press ups or nothing. Well, no, no. that's going to kill you on stage, you know? 
Yeah, no, when you start performing and you're running up and bro, down. I did, the, I did the tour with fucking Endo. Do you know how, the, the, the yeah, yeah. arena tour, bro? Yeah. Do you know how big them stages are? <laughs> I was <Did> blown. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times I had to go to AO and Gaffer. <laughs> Gaffer. Yeah. Talk to them for a minute. I'm just there drinking water. That's no, I'm, I'm, yeah, no. you got to get back on it because, again, we, we know I talk about it, I said, but you are going on tour as well. So, yeah, yeah. You got to do, do a little sort of bag, get yourself on mental health or something, a little yeah. six week program. <laughs> yeah, no, I need something to train for, innit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I was um, unfit, but mentally, it is the best thing ever. Yeah. It is. They like break, they, wise. Yeah, they yeah. just break you down into pieces and put yeah. you back together. I think a better, well, hopefully for the best, better, for, yeah. better person. But, mate, yeah, if you ever get a chance to do that, I want to know what, how did you need to die? That's what I need to know. What, what, um, so there's escape and, escape and evasion is, is on the second to last day. Yeah. Um, we, we got put in, we got put, I'll explain the whole thing. We got put <laughs> in, we got put into this, like this, the kitchen mess room yeah. and they had a load of like uh, roasts, like a Sunday roast out. And oh. I was like, you know, we get some this is better than like a boiled egg. <laughs> so it was like, cool. And I was just like, there's no way that they're giving us a full roast yeah, like this. It's, it's, this too, it's too nice. This is way too fucking nice. <laughs> anyway, flashbangs come in, dogs, they flip the table. I've barely had a fucking Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> and like, there's gravy everywhere. They just drag us out. You get captured, thrown into a car and all this shit. Drove into the middle of the night. And it's like 4 a.m. at this point. And then, yeah, it's so long. <laughs> oh, it's so long, it's raining. I'm in a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> just like what That's this so is so crap <laughs> so, question everything yeah like what point. is going on like there's yeah. a dog two seconds away from like <laughs> chomping my fucking nose off and then they, they we have to get to checkpoint to checkpoint to checkpoint came okay. and there's these cars that are chasing us and whatever um but we have a, a head start for like five minutes so anyway running up running 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 and i can see i can hear like the the motocross bikes like mm. you can hear him going, rrr, 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 like coming over the, the hill. So I'm like, fuck this. And we're on the road at this point and it's so bait. We should have yeah, been yeah, like yeah. in the, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I just thought, right, fuck it. I'm just going to jump down this little bank here. It's not a little bank, is it? No. <laughs> Bro, I can't tell you. Have you ever jumped off something and thought, I'm in the air for way too long? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I looked at my, like, and it's pitch black and it's 4am. Yeah, yeah. So I just run, I've got my big bag on. I just jump. <laughs> then hit the ground. I was like, oh my God. And the, the bank's this, this steep. I'm just seeing, and I've got my flashlight on my fucking head. So all I can see is like the flash of like rocks. Every so often I'm like, shit, that's rocks. There. Yeah, yeah. Should have done this. I, there shouldn't be rocks there. Yeah, should there? Yeah, yeah. Like, when is this, when am I going to stop rolling? And I'm just going for like, 15, 20, 30 meters. Oh, wow. And I'm like going for like, this is like 15 seconds I'm falling. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to fucking die. Really? Like, what's that at must the end like of this? An eternity. Like, like, what's at the end of this? Yeah. And then it, then it levels out. I look up, everyone's miles away up there. They ran up the hill. Yeah. Like normal fucking people. <laughs> <laughs> they ran up the other side of the road, up the hill and they was fine. The cars went past. I'm just like this with my light off. Um, yeah, I looked at the, put, when they, they've all gone past, I put the torch on the bank. It is just covered in like massive rocks. Oh, I've missed wow. every single rock. Mate. You'd think that they'd have like boundaries on there where Bro, you can't it's go. Not, nah, it's, 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 it's in the middle of, it's, it's, it's some literally... random island off the coast of Scotland. Yeah. yeah with a right. population of, well. of like 25 people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's 24 what years are on there, yeah. To, and, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's, but that's no, yeah, bad. that was the first time. And then... I think hyperfermia nearly every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I was. No, Are I you lost, a good swimmer as well? Because I do. A I swam the channel for stand up for cancer, didn't I? I didn't know that. Rate that. Oh, yeah. I rate oh, yeah, that. We did 26, 26 miles. We got. Um, That's yeah. more for me on research. I apologise. No, it's, no, it's not. Yeah, it's it's no, mm. me is with Linford, Linford Christie, Greg Rutherford. It's a couple of other people. No, but none of us could you swim. Don't go gym and then you swim in twenty six miles. Yeah, but these are the things. So like, I do things. On these shows and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Which in your <laughs> mind now go I'm fit. Yeah. Then I go, <laughs> yeah. Right, like the games, I did the games in it. The, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, I see. That, that was yeah. fun. Like just bits and pieces that so you, I don't even do things to like boost my profile. I like that all the things that I've done I like to try and help challenge myself yeah, yeah. or Yeah, or but there's help. a help there's a helpful meaning on the end of it though, right? Yeah, exactly. So yeah. That, does that 
motivate you as well. Like it should. I, I've, I've signed up to this, so I can't really. Oh, I can't lose. Bro. Bro, yeah. we don't lose, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, and by the way, if you if you don't pass selection, I say selection when you do go on it eventually. Listen, just listen. just know I just know I did. <laughs> I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> it, it, I know you're competitive yeah, I'll, you're wait, I'll it, give you an earful <laughs> if you don't pass it bro <laughs> like, do you know what it is for me as well similar thing like I can't I can't lose well man. even now at football like you know when obviously you know with your brother like you're coming to the end of it he hates it I still so. can't like just sometimes like people go at it like is he in a stinking mood if he's in a stinking mood if he loses yeah oi <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at your face it, it's, it's dialed down it used to be like three days yeah, my brother, like, my brother game, so yeah. like, I'm very competitive. Yeah. I won't lose, but I'm a good loser, I think. Yeah. I think I am a good loser. I need to explain it. How, how are you a good I, loser? There's no such thing, man. I yeah, think, I no, but like, I, 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 lose won't, I won't, yeah, yeah, lose gracefully. gracefully. I won't take it out on people yeah. around me. Oh, no, no, you I, like, will get I won't it. project it. Yeah, yeah. I'll I will. be pissed. No, I will. My, <laughs> my the do, brother's the dogs big, are getting it. My brother's, <laughs> my brother's the exact... You, you want to walk? Well, nah, no, not you're not today. walking. Nah. <laughs> no, not you're walking. Not... <laughs> you're not getting fed. <laughs> nothing. I'm not eating. <laughs> no, I'm not eating. You're not. Yeah. We, we don't deserve to. My, my, <laughs> <laughs> my brother's the exact same. Like, yeah. you can't, can't lose that. But. but you know what it is as well? It's because with football, yeah, you're prepping all week for that day. Yeah, yeah. It's like, imagine prepping for a show and then you mess up on the show. You forget your life. It might only be you, one little yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, you pissed. But nobody else realised it. Now you, you say that, now now I don't lose gracefully. Yeah. I've just clocked. No, I don't. No. What, what have you done? <laughs> no. You've done something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's, that whole scenario I really, just yeah. painted out, isn't it? You know, um, so before I went on tour with End of the Arena Tour now, I got laryngitis which is essentially like the, the worst a singer's worst nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's real tight, real dry. I can't. <laughs> We're still talking about. Yeah, I don't want to say I'm going to let it go. <laughs> Did you see my face when I said it? I was like, hey, fuck off. Right. It's, um, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Very the hoarse, throat, very throat, hoarse voice. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> first show um I, I spoke to my specialist and i said like listen he's like you've got you've he said listen you've got um you've got laryngitis hmm. you need four weeks off i've got and i was like i've got four days yeah four days to literally get in shape he's like cool you're just gonna have to voice rest for the entire for the entire thing so first day what does voice rest just not talk not fucking talk bro yeah. so i was explaining so the first day did the show, it was uh Newcastle Arena. Yeah. Smashed it, buzzing. But the 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 um, my vocal specialist said don't do hyping and don't hype between sets and yeah. and like when I'm going like Fuck, damn that don't scream it. Like yeah. even though there's thousands of like, yeah, tens, yeah. Like, don't lose your voice, like just sing your shit. Ayo, the guy on stage with yeah. me, he'll hype you. I lost my shit. <laughs> like there's twenty thousand people, I'm just like, yeah. Fuck, yeah. Damn, <laughs> Like screaming Sick. like this for half an hour straight, voice gone. When I say zero, yeah, gone. Nothing but so it got to the end of the show and I couldn't even talk. It was just wheezing. I was just like, I have fucked it up for everyone. I yeah. could and I had a two day gap after that, actually, which is the only two day gap we had, which is lucky. I couldn't talk to anyone for two days. Even every day, every single day I had six thirty, I'd start talking. And then go on stage at eight until nine, nine o'clock. I can't talk. I just, every single conversation I have, I've had on tour is on my phone right well, now. Just write it down. Bro, and send you everything's so, no, you have to type on my notes pages like this. Look, let me try and find a you, conversation. You, say, you got, should yeah. not have to scroll that much on your notes, bro. Yeah, be, no, because every single day, <laughs> every single day yeah. is a new note. Look, oh, five hours fucking long. Should we get a train? Do you prefer this? You should have brought them down in it. Oh, we don't know. <laughs> that that, that is every single message I had to type like this and then go like this. That's mad. And it sucked. That's mad. So, so how do you, how do you go from having nothing to two days rest? But then I'd be screw, but then I'd be screwing. So that's what was yeah. I was saying. I'd be screwing. Yeah. Because I'd fucked it up then. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's my performance. Yeah, that you're in control of that. As that well, I right? should have uh, shouldn't be getting. But how do you get how do you today you get this back? Is a don't Tabs, talk. Drips. So like, I thought like there's, there's some, you can, you can do like that. Obviously the honey, lemon, mm. ginger, all that. And I was like a pharmacy and I was, yeah. I was like that the whole time. 
but even like massage and refer- you know the massage guns this yeah, is gonna yeah, sound yeah. mad you know the proper big fuckers yeah, like yeah. the big one the th- it- i used to literally get it and be on my larynx on my adam's apple oh, going Right. And it used to loosen it, loosen it off. That's that it. when I'm not talking, and that, yeah, so basically just no talking. But you, do you? So when do you know, like performance wise, if it's got to be all right? Uh, well, I feel, I feel it like, um, yeah. I feel it getting a bit hoarse, and it's not good because it's, it's, it's dry on stage as well with the dry smoke yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. It's not great for your voice. And, and stuff. You know what? One thing that people it, don't realize the lights as well. How hot are the lights? Hot. Yeah. So I would yeah. wear in a. I was wearing a, um, uh, a vest the whole time. I was wearing a, I was wearing a singlet the whole time. I yeah, don't know who I thought I was. <laughs> but you know what's funny? Oh, you're going to fucking piss yourself. So <laughs> after, after I realized, after I realized that performing in a t-shirt and a jacket was not going to happen after the first show, yeah. I was like, right, cool. It's vest now. I ordered, I ordered 20 Amazon Essentials vests. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and everyone used to scream, Take it off, mm. take it off. I don't know, I'm not even in good shape, but like, yeah. but the end of it, I was like, fuck it, yeah, it's sweaty, let's take it off. The amount of people that called me out and put me on TikTok <laughs> gone viral for having Amazon Essentials top. They're like, Wes Nelson threw his top in. It's Amazon's Essentials. I was just like, well, who's the real winner here? Like, <laughs> I got to give away a top, look great. And yeah, and, and, yeah, what and did I didn't have to pay. To be? I'll be I, know, like, I was getting rinsed, I was like, Fuck this! Like cost yeah. of living. Like let me just like, <laughs> like I'm not Nobody's throwing a proper. Money on vests. I'm not vest. No way. Not no vest. I'm, I'm a H and M and I think I bought some like from Costco yeah. not so long back. I swear to God. Oh, wait, to be fair, I'm if you fancy though, not even trying to plug them, but solid fit though. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say they're great for the wash, but yeah, like, they will stretch. Like one you, one, I mean, one it might be a, might be a one wear. Yeah. Then just you have to throw it in a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> next time, next time you've got a big crowd, George, just, yeah. like, just nail it in there. That will do. But I just think, you know, yeah. when you go back to the like the losing, see, for me, yeah, it's not about like, it's not about like losing Grace. Because whenever I lost, I've been spanked, bro. Like, lost to Man City in the final 6 0. Last game yeah, of the season, day. FA Cup final. Not a long day. Like, May 30th. Next game's August. Like, do you know how shit that summer was, bro? <laughs> Everywhere I went, they were like, ha, you lost. <laughs> and you know, you're like, huh? Yeah, but yeah. Uh, but you've got some moments that outshine. outshine yeah, of course, there. but. That is I'm one of the greatest it, moments in football history as yeah, well. Yeah, the you know, Leicester exactly. one. 10 bro. years this year, that is. Swear down. Yeah, yeah. Bro, the, every single, and that, this is not even like, no, fuck it, is it's gassing you? That, bro, <laughs> is that one, for me, the greatest, most memorable football moment in history for me. Yeah, it's, no, it's that is not game. even a joke. Nah, I appreciate that. In history, no, every time I watch it, oi, get it on screen now. <laughs> <laughs> every time I see it, it's like goosebumps. I'm like, yeah. shut up. I've, I've, go- I've watched it on YouTube. Nah, bro, it's about- and When I'm drunk, I'm like, oh, I need to watch it. They said it's close to like 200 million people have watched it on YouTube. Shut you know when up. you're like, I wish I had the right to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sky just sitting there eating every year. Yeah. Here's this thing again. Do you remember? <laughs> nah, but it's like, like Mariah Carey <laughs> Christmas song. It's still doing the rounds on Sky Sports News, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. But still doing it. Whenever I'm drunk with the boys who just watch football, yeah, get that, get that DD girl on now. <laughs> get on now. <laughs> wow, magic that. <laughs> hey, magic that. That's yeah. football that. Yeah. But you know what it's like? But you know what it's like though when you lose, yeah? But when I lose, I'm like, I need I need to be able to fix it tomorrow. Like yeah. let, me, let me fix it right straight now. away. And then so I is that sleep for it. you is that training? Yeah, but like it's, I'm a bit OCD. Like I watch the game like three times. So we have finished at like three. I've already watched the game by nine. I've already watched it at like. See, that's where you are. Where you are though, and it's. Oh, how do I how do I break down that? Ah, oh, do you see this? I might send him random things. Mm. You remember when he passed the ball here? Should mm. I have done this or should I have done that? Yeah, and he just be like, mate. Give it a rest. Your shit. <laughs> Just give it a rest, mate. Give it a rest. I don't care. <laughs> but I'm trying to watch the boxing or something. But um, nah, it's, it's just that. How can I fix it? And I think that's what that's yeah. what drives people. But I think going, a reason I say that is because when I listen to what you're saying in your family environment of striving for greatness, I reckon you've been around that subconsciously and you don't even realise it. Yeah, a hundred percent. You know what I mean? Because I can't. You, you can't not. This is. I think that's a, that's a winner's mentality though. It's not. It's not being able to. It's not being able to just win all the time. It's about, it's how you correct your losses, isn't it? Yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Like, and I think even my my my, my old man's ever. They're, it's strange that they're, they're they're very on it in terms of like right, let's get this, let's get this, yeah. and structured and really really driven. But they're not. 
they're not gonna get you down if 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 I did yeah, lose. Yeah, yeah. Like he, he would he would. I think he exposed my, my especially my pops exposed me to constructive criticism as he said. <laughs> constructive criticism. The amount of times yeah. I've heard constructive criticism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, since I was tiny and he would be very vocal at football, mm. like before they had that tape that says you can't shout. <laughs> yeah, he was yeah, shouting, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you would, you would literally hear him screaming yeah. at the side and he was coaching my brother. He coached before my brother went to academy and coached me nearly all my life when I was playing and before I started doing a bit better. And, but I think being exposed from that and being, him letting us, you know, it's, yeah. it's fine to be criticised and you just, it you just have to understand. And I think people are getting a bit soft now. I think everyone's getting too soft. Like everyone's a winner now. That's Artists not, that's not a thing. Yeah. There's no coming People, second. You can't clap coming second. I don't think you, it's like or taking part. Like, list, like medals for taking part. What the fuck's that about? And, 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 and I get it, and, and it's about including people, and I, I understand, and it's nice. But the world's not like that. Mm. You, you don't, you don't get a, you don't, you don't. If you apply for a job, mm -hmm. they don't go, they don't send you out a, a, a message saying thanks for your participation. They just yeah. say you haven't got the job. Yeah. Sometimes I don't even message back. And sometimes you don't even yeah. like. Do you know, as the world, I think I don't think the world functions like that. And I mm, think, no. especially with this my generation and and things before, everyone just wants gratification for. Nothing. For nothing. Yeah, yeah, for nothing. Doing the basics. For doing the basics yeah. and, yeah. You know what I was talking about the other day, actually? But doing the basics, actually, on our on that. It's when celebs do that, just genuinely normal things. Yeah, and get praised. And get praised, it. like, for the great, to be yeah. the greatest person in the first. Yeah. No, just a decent person. But, don't know why I need to say that, but like, no, I just no, saw no, it the it, other day. I, yeah, and it was, I was just like, that everyone would do what they've just you done. Know, you know, a pet hate of mine, and you've been around loads of times when I do this, you know, like a, I said, fat or someone just goes, I want a picture. They go, Wes, can I get a picture? I always tell her, I go, please, please. Mm. Yeah. And they go, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a, please, can I get a picture? It's like, oh, it happened matters. the other day when I was at the Montclair event, the amount of people that had pictures, <laughs> no, they'd take they a drop. picture and then wouldn't even <laughs> so say thank you. you. you want that? Just walk off. That Montclair you just dropped in. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut up, man. No, 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 no. Who was um, there? Huh? <laughs> Who was there? Everyone. Just a couple of people, yeah. <laughs> hey, it was mad. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I'm not gonna lie, I'm hating. I said the pictures, I was fuming. Yeah. I was fuming. <laughs> <laughs> like, they'll be like, but I'm still in the prem. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it no. looked look lit too. Um, but people lie. people asking for pictures and then take the picture and then just walk off. Yeah. yeah, not, yeah. not even say anything. Not even or just take the picture of you. Yeah, that's mm. a weird one. That's, yeah, that that's a weird, weird Where's thing, the weirdest that? place this happened to you? When there's two, one and my daughter on my shoulders took a hamlet. So I've got her on my shoulders, yeah. got bags because it's around yeah. Christmas time, and a Multitasking. big, big builder, like 40 year old bloke. Dee get a picture. And I've, like, you know, like she's on my shoulders. I went, fucking where, mate? <laughs> and he went, oh, it's like, you know, like all senses have just gone. And he went, no, I'm so sorry. I said, nah, it's no problem, but, you know, show my shoulders, whatever. Yeah, yeah, cool. And the worst one, in a toilet. Yeah, that's the same as me. In the toilet service station. station. Service station. It's weird. Bro, service it's station. Weird. Every time it's happened multiple times. You're trying to take a picture. You're going to get a picture. You're like, Mate. I have my cock out. <laughs> you know what's in there? I have my dick out. <laughs> I will turn around. Go on then. Hey. <laughs> get a picture of that then. <laughs> Put you that on what? your OnlyFans. You know what's in there? Uh... Turns out I have a service station OnlyFans. The amount of times I've done it. You know what's in the service station toilet and I wanted to get asked for a photo? Who? Balotelli. Nah, you gotta leave Mario alone. Yeah, man. I didn't ask him. Yeah. Well, that's I'm the not, one not person, that person I wouldn't yeah. ask in a service station. Yeah, Mario yeah. might piss on you. Well, I'm, not, I'm not being that person. Or <laughs> set a firework up he on you. He will yeah. piss on you, bro. <laughs> Standing nah. there next to me, I was seeing this mohawk. I was like, he's <laughs> massive as well. Yeah, he's about 6'6", six, six, yeah, to be fair. Tall, you know what? Have you ever had that as well? You know when you meet people? Oh, you're taller than I thought you were. Oh, you're smaller than I thought you were. Mate, <laughs> that's, it wise me up. Oh, that was big as I thought you were. Fucking six foot, you pricky. <laughs> and more time, they're like five, five. Yeah. I'm like, who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not even small, bro. But it's like, no, it's everyone on Love Island is six foot five. I have noticed that. Yeah, what? I have noticed that. It's not normal. It's not fucking okay. I'm no. six foot tall. I'm not having that. Like, that is bullshit. There's a lot of legs. I'm, I'm a bit over six foot with some shoes on. <laughs> and I'm. 
I was so concerned. Well. I was so concerned. I was looking, I can remember when I first walked down, I looked across the line. Then Adam walks in, six foot six, Adonis. I was like, shit. <laughs> like, I look like a prepubescent child next to absolutely everyone. You sound like I had no beard, no nothing. I mean, my beard's not really strong. And, uh, it's, it's all right. It's, it's getting enough. there. Yeah, yeah, it's good enough. I had nothing before. Yeah. Have you got oils of that put there? No, I need to get on that. The, yeah. the Jamaican black astro and stuff. Right? Yeah, I don't have a choice. Is, does it work? Like, uh, apparently so. I didn't have I didn't have a beard until I met the missus. So yeah, five years. Uh, so. Don't look at me. No, your beard's good mine's though, bro. Over Solid. The Do you know what? He he. Right, you know, he's not going to like this, but he might be the most well groomed man I know. He'd, me? Yeah. He loves, no a he loves a manicure. Wait, why'd no you cover way. your nails up there? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, right? You know, you know, you know, right? What, me? <laughs> no, he does, mate. He's got, cre he's got creams and smells for everything this better. Yeah, you're not wrong. Agree? Matt, yeah. Hey, you can't, you can't I don't mind it. Yourself. Yeah, I, don't I, mind I, it. I, just can't, I ain't got time, bro. You, you look sure. Yeah, anyway, let's avoid that. Let's avoid that. You know what I was going to ask then? You know when you said like, um, the guy come in I love Ireland 6-6 six, six, looking like Adonis are you looking at them as like competition because yeah. naturally what the that, show you well, go that on minute, yeah that minute I was like yeah. you know when Josh first came in yeah. I fucking hated him mate how rich is he <laughs> oh, he got a good nick for that he, uh, was, yeah, he had yeah, six yeah, he good, yeah, good he I was in fucking cracking nick I've lost <laughs> it all bro <laughs> it's all gone <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing left. <laughs> hey, no. So yeah, Josh was in good nick. Everyone was in good nick. And the only reason I actually went to the gym is so I didn't look like a pubescent child, man. And I was, I was in, all right. It looked okay. Did you say like, you were at gym? Like, yeah. Nah, sure. Blasted it, bro. You, yeah. Like, five weeks. I did two, a double session. Five, five weeks. weeks. Five, exactly. five you weeks. You didn't do five months. You did five weeks. Five weeks. You five weeks. No carbs. I don't know what I ate. I ate everything. Oh, I, think I, ate, I think I ate everything. Yeah, 18 but, you can. Normally. But I had yeah, a, a, a six, a six in the morning. So before I went to work, yeah, um, finish, do that, gym, get home, gym, fight, bed, wake up, do it all again. Fuck. So all, all to look good on the TV. Bro. Yeah, so I didn't like it. I did, and I still did. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? After the first day, I just didn't. Did yeah. the gym like everyone did on the first day? Everyone was just like, oh, yeah, yeah keep, on, keep on, keep on. Yeah, everyone's like really trying to lift. I was like, fucking hell, are we gonna do this the whole time? It's boiling. Yeah, no, like, <laughs> it's just, just really, eat. really yeah. warm. Do but anyway, yeah, I hated Josh. I fucking hated Josh. Um, so he came in. I was like, who's this light skin that's just like decided to just drop himself in like i'm that guy i'm yeah, the block i'm the blockhead this is my blockhead <laughs> my head fits in this block stay, stay, stay out let me with the blockhead light you let me let me stay on my own he comes in and then straight off the bat he's like they was like oh who'd you like josh he's like oh yeah laura I'm like <laughs> <laughs> do you <laughs> sound <laughs> i was like yeah all right wicked and I can remember he, I, I walked inside after he'd said it and I saw his suitcase and I just booted it. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw his suitcase on the floor. I just went right bang, <laughs> booted it, clothes all over the place. I was like, sound. <laughs> Leave that there. Well, it's that's bad something I'd do that. Like, do you know why? And then the day after, best mates. Yeah, but say, same with Jack. We hate, Me yeah. and Josh hated Jack when he came in. He's like, who's this guy beatboxing and rapping all the time? <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> Shut, Shut up. <laughs> Do you know what I like as well? Because I, I said to you like, off air that, because obviously I know Josh a little bit, you start following, and then obviously see you two as well, so follow you on Insta and that. And then during lockdown, these two obviously were living together. To clarify, <laughs> they were living together. They weren't just going out and partying. But they were having the best life I've ever seen. And I was fuming. <laughs> I, was, I was having a great time missing yeah. the kids and that, but you lot were like, they were having fun, fun. Nah, we was really having fun. Yeah, you weren't it? I was just like, What's, lockdown, what's on? lockdown one was my probably one of my highlights of my life. I yeah? enjoyed lockdown. I bro. swear, yeah, I enjoyed lockdown. No, it saying, was we, class. But you know, like we sat and chilled and spent more time with the kids. That these were having like full grown raves, partying, creatives. <laughs> they were. Do you know, I don't know they were doing got. stuff. I was like, "How are you living in the park? But where's this? Where's it coming from, <laughs> bro?" You know what it was? That gaff was not like the greatest gaff as well. Like <laughs> Josh will say it himself. Yeah. Um. In. North North London, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was a, it was a very crazy gaff, <laughs> but and a lot of crazy crazy shit happened. But that's when I first wrote "Seen a Body." Yeah, I had a, a coat over my head in Josh's spare bedroom. That's the exact audio that went out. 
sit. Like we didn't use a but, studio. Because that's, that's what I heard about you musically. Because I swear, I want to say it was Crypto Cold. Yeah, mentioned you. mad. Yeah, Crypto Cold mentioned because obviously I've, I've met them a few times as well, being out and about, and they they were like, yeah, yeah, like. This, 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 this guy come in and trust me, he can sing, he can write, he's talented, he ain't like them other people, but he never said your name in it. Yeah, yeah. But, and then people was like guessing, guessing, yeah, guessing, yeah. and then I signed my record deal and then they're like, oh shit, it was him. Yeah, yeah. But like shit. before that though, you know. When they you- actually bust me in. I generally, yeah. in terms of like my record deal, everything, they actually started that. In, I actually what? think it. Just, that, that, just by that, their mention. That you. tweet. Yeah. Started everything. So how did they hear? That's what I would have known. You so said I was, I was. These sounds I, I was, I'd wrote Seen a Body. I'd mm. wrote Nice to Me. I wrote a load of songs at this point, but I was showing them Nice to Meet You to get a, uh, no, sorry, um, Seen a Body. So it just get opinions. And I was just, I was just literally messaging people. I'd go through my Instagram. I'm like, right, who follows me that's an artist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just went through every single artist, popped up to them, baited them out by saying, oh, bro, what's your number? I need to talk to you real quick. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they have to fuck. Like, yeah, they're like, shit, yeah. I have to answer that. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I f- forced my way in, crowbarred yeah. in. Everyone answered because everyone so, gave me the number. And then I just FaceTimed them. As soon as they, as soon as I saw the message come up, pink bang, FaceTime. You can't yeah. escape it now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah you you yeah, can't yeah, escape. Yeah. You've just messaged me. I know yeah, you're yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> so, I rate it though. So then I uh, FaceTimed them and I was like, and this is how I showed them as well. I didn't even fucking send them at the time. And I just play it on my laptop and be like, oh, yo, listen to this. Let me know what you think, honestly. Did it, played it. Few, but if you pick that up as well, yeah. Yeah. You're on the other side. And, and imagine if that, you're that, you imagine how many people they must yeah. get people fucking saying, <laughs> yeah, listen yeah. to this, but, blah, blah, blah. But then every single, and I record, and extra fucking cheeky, I recorded all the reactions as well, screen well, recorded. Screen recorded. Yeah. I and saw that. that and that was the best oh, piece of promo cool. I ever did. Yeah, I put yeah, out yeah. a big string of them all, like Anna and Joshua, all these people yeah, that yeah, listen yeah, to my yeah. song. Signal. And they're all vibing to it. But anyway, I sent it to, I actually ended up sending it to Crept. And then four weeks later, he comes back. It was just like, bro, I've been playing this song for the past four weeks and sent a video of him singing the song, lyric, to lyric for lyric. And then two, I didn't see that. And then two hours later, this tweet had gone out and I've got a million and one story mentioned saying, where's, 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 is this you? Is this you? Is this yeah. you? And I'm like, shit, what have I done? <laughs> not knowing what it is. Like, yeah, not yeah, knowing yeah. what that is. So, and then it was the tweet and, and then um, all the record the labels. Parties, you're thinking it could be anything. Yeah. It's, I saw <laughs> pitch, pictures attached to all of them. I was like, yeah, fuck, yeah. What, 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 have I, what have I done? So just. And then the record label started knocking and that was it. That was it. There was, they started saying, oh, is this about you? Is this about you? And can we hear the song? Can we hear the song? How, how did that process go though in terms of finding a record? Like, obviously they've all come to you. Which one was the one you went, this is it? I went with one. Universal EMI. Um, purely, be, purely because not, not just money, but the things that they could offer, but at the same time, like what they can offer and do this, that and the other yeah. has changed now. So of course the, whole, the whole sort of scenes... Change is that is that is that from COVID? From the, from I think so. But I think the forward. birth of TikTok, yeah, and TikTok controlling music, right? Yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. TikTok are doing their own label. Yeah, I have heard that to be fair. That's bananas. I have heard that because it most and, of I, the songs, and, a, and rumor has it they're doing like a a split of eighty twenty instead of twenty eighty. Oh shit! They're That's flipping dope. it on its head. Yeah, but because most crazy. of the songs I hear now are from the kids. Yeah, yeah. Like my kids will put me on to choose. Before I can, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I'm, I'm not on TikTok, and they grab them from TikTok, and yeah, it? yeah. They're like, ah, oh, I heard this one, and sometimes I'm like, how are you? Doors are eight, and that, and it. Do you know what I mean? But so, no, they, 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 yeah, the TikToks, yeah, the whole, the whole scene is strange, isn't it? Now, right? yeah. I think TikTok's making big. You know, you know why? I say, when I say I'm like, I'm not on TikTok, I don't sit and watch it. Obviously, I'm on TikTok, got the videos and that, but I can't sit and like. Mm. Waste Scroll. my day, similar to what you were saying, being in the room, like I can't. I try and keep my screen time down below three hours a day, two hours a day. Three hours a day, that's good, you know. That's very good. Like, yeah, and it was used to be, bear used to be like nine yeah. to ten hours. Yeah, I'm which, down. Which is I'm, when you actually think about it, how absolutely. fucking long that yeah, is. It's not yeah. healthy, but what would you say yours is? I, I don't know. I, I, you know, it comes up once a week yeah, and it tells yeah, you what yeah. screen time, like it goes down. Well, I don't know why it was. Sure, I, to what it is now. Mine goes, mine was down to around about four hours. 
obviously we're doing this, you're filming, you end up watching it on your phone. It's like, it's back up this to is, about this You know, that's why I think as well, I hate Instagram more than, looking at it, probably more than anything social media is because it's just, it's like going to work as soon as you open your phone, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, yeah, to be fair. It's addictive as well. It's, like, bro, it's I the can, biggest I drug in the world. Down, yeah. Nothing's on there. And I'll Everything. swipe down again two minutes later. And what, I don't know what I'm expecting to see. Yeah. Is oh yeah, like you, like when you refresh or, or, yeah, or, or you do the circuit and you're yeah, like, do Instagram, nah, what's that? What we got on there? Nah, yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah, do you know Twitter, how weird that is? If I, some, I feel yeah. like smacking myself in the yeah. fucking face every time <laughs> it's I do it. It's embarrassing, isn't it? You, you yeah, know I'm like, what am I even looping through all these apps for? Like a dickhead. Yeah, that's true. It's the worst. Trying to find a text from Domino's. You know when you're in the moment? The worst thing is, everyone knows what you're on the moment. Oh, sound. All right, so you've got obviously. Well, I think this is dope. This is the shit we haven't spoken about yet. Drinks company, yeah. Obviously, you're doing alcohol now, and I just want to know where did that birth from? How? how He's a party what, boy, man. Nah, but what I'm saying because <laughs> he's not cause, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> because because no, you know what I'm saying is like everyone. Everyone goes out. Everyone has drinks. Everyone has ideas. Because yeah. at one point, for about a decade, everyone wanted to do clothing. Yeah, everyone wanted to do what Some Reece smoking was doing. area ideas, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but now. Oh, you, you, we should actually do it, shouldn't we? <laughs> should we do it? Yeah, yeah. Wait, but, right. What should we call it? I don't know. But then I'm saying, like, what was it around ownership? Because I feel like that's a big part of you. Yeah, ownership. That's for me. So, like, this is the thing. So, like, throughout the whole of of this this whole time, when I said I didn't want to really do Instagram and mm. I didn't want to do all the promotion and stuff like that, it just stressed me out. But the, the, the idea of owning. A mm. business to me that makes that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. something I can endorse because then it's me, it's mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something I I've branded. It's on brand with what I want to do, mm -hmm. um, and it's been sort of curated and tested and whatever by me. So that's something I can stand behind and say mm -hmm. this is mine, and I'm proud to put my name behind it, sort yeah. of thing. Whereas the promoting stuff, I'm not as yeah. as keen on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, yeah, Badwater, Badwater came about. Um, I spoke to my business partner Dan, um, and he was mentioned that he was he wanted to to get a, a drinks a hard seltzer a brand together, and I was just like, cool. He was like, do you wanna do you wanna jump in and yeah. and, and let's let's do this start this process together? I was like, yeah, it sounds sick. Mm -hmm. uh, it's given me a sort of, sort of a hobby outside of music to do to jump mm -hmm. on something. So we've done all the taste testing. That's my favorite part. <laughs> um, um, taste testing, all that sort of stuff. Designing the cans. Um, the the vodka seltzer's out now. Um, we've got it in a whole bunch of stores. It's selling real quick. Mm -hmm. Maybe not like Prime yet, but we're, we're getting You're there. You're getting there. We're getting yeah. there. That Prime drink is mad. Bananas, bro. Bananas. And then the monster. Well, you created a monster, you know, after the Arsenal game. Yeah. That's you. Shit's gold. Cool. Shopping around, looking for it. Uh, long day. So long. yeah, we went. We went twenty um, quid a bottle, isn't it? We went. Um, three, Twelve, twelve pounds. We went for a Arsenal Man City. Day. We had paid, <laughs> paid for one. Arsenal Man City, and they and they buy a bottle it. from a club for us. <laughs> <laughs> we went Arsenal Man City the other day, and obviously they sponsored it, and it's it's all there. So I don't think it was that much. There. I think it was about seven pound. But we just yeah, but that's mental, isn't no, it? No, no. When you mm. when you actually did, you know, we did yeah, seven pound for squash. Did you just what you just said? Yeah, but I'm like. I grabbed a few. Do you know the worst thing about it is the ones we bought for our kids are still in the car. When you took them out, but, you ain't got windows or wheels now. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't that got windows. They took, prime, prime. Imagine, they took your prime before you took your wheels, bro. <laughs> Just left the rage. It's, yeah. the prime. it's not worth as much. It's not. No, but like I think when I look at that and I look at what you're doing, it's exciting. I think it's sick. I think when when you can now create your own business model, you don't have to go through the formulas that everybody else is. Just go, this is something. And if you get the market in dollars, I think some also like Charlie Slough, uh, AU, 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 yeah. AU, huge, massive, huge. Right. But like, I wouldn't sit there and go, any of them are the best drink, yeah. but I know who's buying it and I like the mm. person. So now, now I'm going to buy it. it. Do you get what I mean? It's the exact same thing, isn't it? But yeah, I, I think this yeah, this is my first sort of entrepreneurial sort of a, adventure. I've done yeah. properties since yeah. I was like straight off the bat. As soon as my all my money come from like the shows and yeah. PAs you and buy stuff stuff like that, so it's like twenty pound to go. Was, it's yeah. like twenty quid Not for wrong. a gaff up there so like, <laughs> with a front and back garden. Yeah, twenty quid, in a, twenty quid in a Kit Kat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you, you're in. <laughs> you've, got a, you've got a penthouse. I, I, I can't stuff. lie. I'm, I'm doing it in Birmingham, so I know exactly. What it, it's it's cheap, yeah, but I say that like London is London is excessively expensive in it. Yeah, it's a different but, world. Um, yeah, it's it's that's good. But then this is my first sort of property's boring, man. Like it's good. But yeah, it's boring, isn't it? Like it's safe. It's, it's safe. safe. Yeah. I don't want to say it's boring because it's, it's yeah. 
But at the same time, business is like more risk. There's more yeah, this yeah, than yeah. that. And it's it's like developing it and you can yeah. really put your sort of creative flair into it. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yeah. like now we're doing the, te the tequila seltzer, which is coming out. No one's really doing that in the UK. Yeah. Shit, everyone's going to do that now. Nah, it's don't not, do bro. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't do that, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah. I've, so that's that's coming out. We just designed all the cans and it looks fucking dope. And what's what's the ambition to get in clubs or be in supermarkets or what? Oh, we'd, well, awesome. we've got that. We've got. Uh, I'll tell you. I, I can't tell them now oh, okay, because it's yeah. going to be part of an announcement. But we've, oh, we've got about three or four different oh, supermarkets sick. doing like five hundred units. Oh, sick. Things yeah, each, yeah, yeah. Five hundred, five hundred different stores. And the reason I ask that is not to. But I'm not wanting people to pocket watch. I think it's. I think it's really important for people to understand that there's a process to it. It's yeah. about I've had a process of going from idea to going out, doing all the things, trial and testing oh, errors. It. And then it gets to this. It didn't just come out and Wes went, oh, I'm just going to throw 50 grand at that. Now it's in stores and look yeah. how easy it is. Yeah. Don't uh, worry I want to build it, build it, build it. Make that much of a nuisance to people like fucking White Claw and all them yeah, yeah, that yeah. are competitors to the point where they were giving them a headache and they'll just buy us out. Yeah. And I'll take mm -hmm. it. I'll be happy with that. Yeah. But that's five that's year. That's like the five year, 10 year plan. Yeah. So yeah, just yeah. build, 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 piss them off. Sell it. Well, that, that's basically thing. what Prime will do, is essentially. Coca-Cola or something like that. Everything in it now. Coca will come in and pay a yeah, couple million for that. Yeah. Couple that's, million. They'll probably. take other people's. It's like fucking it. worth more than that now. And it's flying, that's a billion, bro. Billion. Oh, billion, yeah. 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 yeah, that's going up there. That's in the... I look at it from... I'm getting on my old music. I haven't really asked you. But 50 Cent, Vitamin Water, that's how I look at it. Vitamin Water, yeah. Remember that 300 mil to Glacier. Dre, Dre did it. Yeah. So who was your early music... Actually, I didn't even ask any of these questions at the start. Who was your musical inspirations? Because we just did Chris Brown. And I know you've got a funny story to tell us about Chris Brown. Huh? We just did Chris Brown, didn't it, on Sunday. Okay. And I know you've got a story about dropping tickets, if you'd like to say that. When you dropped your tickets on the same day. Oh, Yeah. Um, biggest inspiration, let's answer that first. <laughs> um, I'd say M MJ, you know. Yeah. You, you're still allowed he's to say the, that. He's, he's the GOAT. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm allowed. I fucking, of course, I'm, I'm allowed to yeah, say Yeah, I'm saying it, you, but if you said R. Kelly, now it's yeah. a bit. Yeah. Uh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just say uh, uh, <laughs> We're going to go that way. <laughs> no, um, no. It, yeah, MJ, MJ for me, like performance, vocals. Yeah. Sculpting R and B, sculpting pop, yeah, for the next few years. Even Breezy is that is him yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is him. I was gonna but say something else, then, but don't, yeah, don't, 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 I don't. Don't it. I know what you was about to say. I'm just saying it in my head. <laughs> no, but yeah, they're all, yeah, um, they're all like yeah, goats and yeah. Luther Vandross. I think like, yeah, like, I just love it. it's silky, it's silky ass vocals. Mm -hmm. Um, and Breezy, I suppose, to a degree, is, I think he's he's a, sort of a reincarnation of MJ mm -hmm. in it, but mm -hmm. at the same time, um, he has his own sort of style, flavor, and consistency. I think is is super admirable. Yeah. Um, Have you been? To but yeah, about Breezy. <laughs> so, I'm, in case you don't know, probably don't know because of that this 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 reason. <laughs> um, Chris Brown's just gone on tour, and um, <laughs> I've got my own tour. So <laughs> I have my own tour. I actually <laughs> dropped the tickets. On the same fucking day as Chris <laughs> Brown dropped his fucking world tour. You know how funny it was? I was talking to my manager. I was like, yo, Friday we dropped the tickets, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gas, 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 gas. Yeah. <laughs> Breezy drops his. Breezy drops his Friday, doesn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not seeing the problem. You're not seeing the <laughs> You're not seeing the class here, bro. You're like, oh shit, what time is he dropping his? 10 a.m. What time are we dropping ours? 10 a.m. <laughs> Sound. <laughs> oh mate, I was devastated. Do you know how much of a wally I felt like putting on my story? Was she checking it every two minutes? Tickets, yeah, tickets coming out Friday, 10 a.m. <laughs> if you got if any you, money left if, over. If you want to buy them, everyone's like, I'm going to be broke after Chris Brown. I'm like, no, 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 no. no. Wait, 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 wait. Well, we can get a couple more. <laughs> was you checking how many sales you had as well? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm watching. Hour. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's sold. It's, it's, well it's sold. It's sold really well now. Like yeah. everywhere's going to be fully sold out. Yeah, there's a couple of places left. I've got a couple oh, of tickets. Plug, 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 Come on, on. You, you know, I think it's Scotland. I think it's Dublin, and maybe like one or two left in London. It's a bigger venue. 
Grab them, <laughs> grab them, grab them, grab the last ones. No, it's going to be super sick. We've planned, yeah. we've planned this for a hot minute and it's been no, a long sick. time coming. Like, I think, especially with COVID time, as much as it was sick mm -hmm. and having the hits that, that came out at the, at the time as well, we couldn't have performed them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that sucked. Mm -hmm. And I would have loved to have seen the scale that could have gone if we could have been actually going out and about yeah, doing yeah, shows yeah. and this, that, and everything. It was two years of doing mm -hmm. no shows. It's bad, like, at all. You did mm -hmm. that. Like I had my first hit single and we couldn't even leave the house. That's fucked. Wank. Yeah, it's fucked. <laughs> it was when wank. You did that. I was like, let me be a rock star. <laughs> like I bought a dangly earring, got some, hand, got some hand tattoos and I couldn't even show it off. I was just there on my microwave, just fucking making banana bread like a dickhead. <laughs> like, this is the least rock star shit yeah. I've ever done in my life. We need, we need to talk about the tats though, because I, I feel like they need to be plugged. They're, they're our guys. Yeah, um, certified lover boy and the guys at the London Social. Yeah. You got yours there as well. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm booked in to be fair. Can, can you talk know. us through them or are they all personal? Yeah, yeah I can go through it, yeah. So I've got um, 96 in my, my mum's birth, birthday. This little floating man, always ascending. Oh, okay. I like, like that. Um, 93, my brother, my faith, Christianity. 63, my father, AC and P is Alfred Curtis and Paul in the only three weapons I need to have in my life, which is my mum, dad, and my brother. Yeah. The four C's, which is confidence, concentration, commitment, communication, which are my dad's four pillars of success that he's always said to me. So I've got that tatted. And then my debut single was See Nobody. So I got a skeleton with um, it blindfolded. So I can't see nobody. Sit. And what does a skeleton not have? Nobody. So he's in So I'll write that. Do you know why I like that? Because I'll let you talk. You like tattoos, don't you? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't make me any cooler. It's just that. I, just, I, just, I wanted to do it so I had no regrets. That's in, yeah. in the early years of tattoos, I didn't give a shit what I got. But then as it got more personal, mm. like I was starting to choose what I wanted yeah. carefully on my body. And you're the same. And it was yeah, like yeah. with your back. You know? You've got some mad, mad tattoos. Though, yeah, I've got some mad. I've got my whole back done. That was, that was dope. But all these, you know, like when you're young and you're just like, it's going to get a sleeve. I just went to like Salfridges. Just <laughs> can you do that? Claire's. Yeah, just, just <laughs> random shit. But yeah. And like, so like, got, my dad obviously passed away. So yeah. I started getting his done. And then like, I, I got bored. So I threw like a rose because it was, and then I have got a space. So I just need to get them all redone. So that's yeah. where I'm, I'm at now. So to get my back's done, that's the only one I'm genuinely like, yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I want to get some more, but I want, I, I want to know what I'm having. So yeah, like, yeah. It took me a minute to, to know I wanted all of these and then. Like I'm all enough in things, so I yeah. wanted to get them. Bam, 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 bam. Right, okay, mm. they're done now. Yeah. I went hands first as well, which is a bit weird, isn't it? Nah, Fast I started kit. hands. Started hands. Yeah, my, my first one was on my hands, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. I was to show it, but. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't what show is it? it. It's not. Sh it's just shit. It's shit. Can't you just show it? Yeah, it's shit. It's just fucking nickname. What does it say? Nickname. Oh, man, he's fucking gay as fuck. We've all done weird shit. It's fine. It's fine. We're not gonna. We're not gonna mention it. We're just gonna move on. Okay, it's best. So, best. And, and finally, for me, I, I see you are big on the jewelry game. I, what? I, I, yeah, because you know, I saw. You know why? I re the reason I asked this because I saw um, I saw a clip of Ed Sheeran yesterday talking about being put on the waiting list for the uh, Patek Tiffany. Ed don't get put on waiting list. He said it took him six years, six years to get the Tiffany. Well, you know, because them specific. Oh, oh, he's got the Tiffany. He's got the Tiffany. No, he hasn't. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you know, just a five million pound watch, you know? I wasn't going to say that. You know what's mad? You know what's <laughs> mad? Uh, this is where I love Ed. He won't wear chains. Yeah. He won't wear anything like this. Not my, we know he's fucking cake up. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. But he'll always have the maddest kettle on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He always he's, has he's the strong. maddest. I don't think there's anyone in the industry I've ever seen with a better watch. So watch is mm -hmm. Ed. So you call him Ed first name, so clearly you know him. I feel like he I, could be I don't know why, I don't know why I did that. I am not that sick. <laughs> I ain't that guy. <laughs> I who fucking think I am. <laughs> How dare I say Ed? Like I know him like that. Me and Ed don't know each other like that. I'm glad you highlighted me. I needed to get drawn back. What a fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so to, be fair, to be fair, no, we did. I did record a song um, with Dino on. <laughs> on no, so it was a session with Fred again. Fred again was yeah. um, producing. Yeah, Dino was there with me, and Ed was supposed to be jumping on it. Did the song? Didn't hear. Didn't didn't, didn't hear anything. So, yeah, I don't know Ed. 
<laughs> no, but we, I know we was, we, yeah. We yeah, were, but the reason I say that is because he, I think what people don't realise with him is the amount of songwriting he actually does. I know he's got hits and classics, but so many is that someone you like? Inspired or inspired by, yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. The guy is an absolute beast. You yeah. know, he wrote like "Love Yourself." Yeah. As if you like the way. Banger. Yeah, a joke. Like all these songs that he's he's wrote, and and I think like even last year I got into my writing bag more. I think I did like 300, 300 odd songs last year. What? Which is a lot. And this is yeah. I, I really need to stop fucking releasing my bro. I've released like five, <laughs> five, five, six songs in two and a half years. You know, shit. You, that is. Do you um, <laughs> do you like? You say you look at a song, so you've written a song, yeah. Do you go, oh, that might work for this, you know? Let me send that to you. Yeah, so like it, I'll get, I'll get a catalog of things and I have a load of artists that I'm close with that mm. I write with and write for and okay. stuff like that. So I'll just put them in a folder. I'll be like, right, I'll finish it. And I'm like, Joop, that goes in that folder. Oh, okay, Joop, that yeah. That goes yeah, in that yeah. folder, that goes in that folder. And I'll just ping them out to them. And then sometimes they'll take them, sometimes they won't. But I, I, it's, it's, it's a nice way because I can still have all my creative reign. Yeah. I can also live hypothetically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, quite yeah. cool. Yeah. It's almost like dreaming. That sounds yeah, so nah, nah, no, cliche. I think it, yeah. Because you're like, you're putting yourself and you can really immerse yourself in that situation. Mm -hmm. You might like, I've wrote about some shit that I have not, nothing to do with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah Nothing yeah. to do with me. But, but you can, it's, it's almost like storytelling. But then there's other things like three words, which I've just released, which is about my ex. And that was like, I wrote that within 25 minutes. The whole song was done, Sick. which is the fastest I've ever wrote a song that's like real real quick but I was just literally talking because it was so fresh fresh yeah, on the yeah, mind sort of thing coming out, coming out with it. don't you think it's a bit sketchy like singers artists having ghostwriters yeah yeah no nah, mm, uh, yeah I suppose yeah, it's it is, different for you it is, because you're is, yeah, because, giving them content but this but is the thing so like what a lot of people outside, don't know mm, is what a lot of people do not know is that writing's not writing's not usually just a one man thing mm-hmm mm. Like mm, even too, if yeah. you look at Drake's, go yeah. on, like look, look, look at this. Like, let me just go on for an example's sake and just see. I love the fact you call that Drake. By the way. <laughs> I've just clicked on um, Drake one dance. Boom, written that written by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. I didn't oh, even know you could get access yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah. kind of if, you, a... if you go like, if you take the three dots and then go on credits. What's that on Spotify? Yeah. yeah, credits. There's there's one, two, three. Spy, yeah. For, there's three three producers and eight writers. That's mad. I didn't even know you could do that. It's mad. So yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's, so that, that it's usually collaborative, but then so this the ghostwriting thing. I think some people actually can't fucking write. Yeah, and they just got a great voice. Mm -hmm. And fair but enough. It, if, you, if you want to just be a singer, then you can be a singer, but you're but not a singer songwriter. But it's different genres though as well, isn't it? So if yeah. you, like in the hip hop rapid space it is considered like cheating if you're yeah, not writing yeah, because that's got you get what I'm saying personal. exactly yeah you that's what you, I was going to say talk like about hypothetical yeah. like I'm not going to start talking about wetting man down yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not going to happen no, I can't yeah, say no. that I was singing hypothetically you pussy yeah, like, yeah, yeah but then you can sing about love and yeah, cheating course, and this that and the other if you're a singer do you know what I mean it, it, it is mad when you think about it because a lot of the women that sing you know those songs that um, I hate men songs like, yeah. There's a few, there's a few classics. Quite a lot of them, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Classic. There's a few classics. You know when they come on and you Classic. start singing. Like, like, yeah, start singing on your own. You must yeah. start singing a little too loud. Oh, <laughs> looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate men. <laughs> little tap on certain parts. Yeah, yeah. You're you listening. Oh, yeah. But um, I'm saying most happens. of those women in that are married with kids and, and happy. Yeah, yeah. It's mad, isn't it? When you yeah. actually deep the, the construct of it, it's actually mental. Yeah, yeah. But it's, yeah, it's one of them things. But I think, I think. Yeah, like I said, it can be weird, I guess. But for for me, it'd be weird. Like I like to have a custom made little yeah right right away and, and mm. feel like that. But I don't mind collabing with writers. I've collabed with writers on nearly all my songs. That's so true. like people, they, even if they put one word, it still counts as yeah yeah yeah. A, a like writing or so one melody still counts. You know? Yeah. Right. Thank you for your time, brother. Yeah. I've really really enjoyed myself. Oh, I've Thank had a good you. Laugh. It's been good for you. Enjoyed it. Come on, Thank bro. you. I appreciate you. Yeah, having we're on. gonna have to. Uh, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk Brown about stuff. Chris Brown. Yeah. yeah, because he got a bit. I woke up to Chris Brown. <laughs> but now we appreciate it. Everybody, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out Wes. Go onto the tour. Make sure you get some tickets, man. Troy's going to be performing. See you soon. <laughs>